congratulations. You're now the mom of two babies. <laughs> like, are you more relaxed now that the secret is out? Definitely. Keeping that a secret for so long was hard to keep in. But they have just brought so much love and happiness to my life. My life feels so complete. Just every morning, just seeing their smiles, it just lights up my world. I see you're emotional. What are the tears for? Just watching them again. Oh. Oh. I love you, Mom. So beautiful. You. It made us all feel like that, right, y'all? So I hear your nickname is Kiki. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is that what you want your grandbabies to call you? Yes. Yeah? Where did that nickname come from? My sisters, when they couldn't say Kathy. That's a beautiful moment that you just had, meeting your grandbaby. It's, it's a happy time. It's, so, it's beautiful to you. It's happy I, to I you. I couldn't believe it, though. I really thought. What were you thinking when? Well, Paris is always surprising, I think, all of us. So <laughs> when... Yes, but what a surprise. She's always doing something, so when she came out, she had these other, like, gifts for me, because it had just been, I think, Valentine's or Christmas, and she'd been working, so she came out, and my husband had just lost his dog. Mm. That was, like, our child. So I thought, it's either a new puppy or a monkey. <laughs> you never would have guessed. Well, no, her monkey, uh -huh. and a pup, or a puppy for uh -huh. us, because she said, I have a surprise. I always have lots of pets. <laughs> yes. You try. Uh. But you never would have guessed it would be a new beautiful grandbaby, huh? I mean, I could not believe it. And mm. just so sweet. So sweet and so beautiful. And just to look at him last night in the crib, he is so long and big, and he's getting hair and just smiles. He woke up for a second, and he was smiling. And it's just, it's really something to have my, my first baby having her first baby, and now with London. We, we have twins. We have Irish twins, so. Mm. Oh, look. And you got to swim with them recently for the first time. What was that like? Well, I couldn't believe it because I didn't give the girls lessons <laughs> until they were like three and four because we didn't have a pool. We lived in New York. So to see him, he loves his bath, but to get in that big pool, we were, he was crying the first few minutes and then he got, uh, oh, there's Paris. Yes. Yes. Uh, he loved it. He, loved he it. absolutely loved it. It took us a good hour and a half. You Is that going to be your thing minutes. now? Will you swim together? Yes, I have to get back in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask you, Paris, when you introduce your baby to your mom, what were you feeling? I was really nervous because just to surprise someone with something like that was quite the surprise. Like, I, like as my mom said, I am full of surprises, but <laughs> that was on another level. But it was just so emotional, too. Just, such and a I special understand moment. that. I totally understand. Uh, and you're giving respect to, as far as privacy, I think when you have surrogates, it's protecting them too. God forbid one person tells one person and then... I mean, I knew that eventually that this was in the process, but I didn't know when. Mm -hmm. And our babies are precious too, so that's sacred, just all around. So again, I understand how that feels and first congratulations to both Thank of you. you it's a beautiful 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 yeah. thing and your inspiration to parents because you've been married for 44 years yes what is the key to that what's the advice that you can give us um i think really basically starting out very young moving to new york not having the influence of our parents telling us what to do um, starting out on our own, making our own way through life, our own money. Um, a lot of people as assume because of our last name that our parents just threw money at us. That wasn't the case. Mm. And I think that's probably why my girls and now my boys have a great work ethic. Um, really just, we were kind of thrown out there in New York City and keeping the right influences as far as your friends. If you are with happy couples, that you have the same values. I think that's important, because I think we're very impressionable. Yes. Um, so I think that's important. 
and keeping it spicy and never taking one another for granted and never go to bed without kissing each other if you have a disagreement. Y'all taking notes? Cause I am. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.